We all know how to remove a security group or a user from the SharePoint site or site collection. We just go to the uh, site permissions, select the user or the group and remove it from the user and that's it. It's that simple. But what if you have a site that has a whole load of document libraries, custom lists, secure site pages to which each have different set of restricted permissions applied already and you just want to remove a single user or a group not just from one library or list but from the whole site yeah let's see that as an example so this is my site it has different document libraries as you can see and each document library has a different set of permissions so i have opened each of my document libraries permissions so it has two domain groups in this case it has a unique permissions and this library has five domain groups and this has just one and this uh, uh, library has just two domain groups and a SharePoint group as well and this one doesn't have any it just inherits the permissions from the site itself so what if I want to remove a, um, a just one domain group uh, from all the site so let's go here and so this is the domain group uh, called junior managers and I want to remove this group from the whole of the site not just from one library which is the new year plan I want to remove it from the whole of the site yeah so the obvious thing to do is go to the site permissions of the site so click here and go to site permissions and try to remove the user in this case uh, it's a domain group called junior managers but since this site has secured contents the user in this case it's a, a group don't have access to the whole site so the user or the group has not been added to the site permissions so this is a complex situation so how to remove them easily from the site so firstly we have to navigate to any of the SharePoint groups in your site so let's pick this SharePoint group click here and in this group go to the address bar of here and remove the the number whatever it's shown here replace it with zero and hit the enter now you'll see all the users and the groups that have access to your site so tick the user that you want to remove it in this case junior managers tick it go to the actions menu and see the option called delete user from the site collection so click Click that and it will ask, are you sure you want to remove the user from the site collection? Click yes. Voila. Done. So let's go to the permissions library which had the domain group called junior manager. Uh, this doesn't have, so no problem. New year it has, so let's refresh it. It has gone from here. Budget, it doesn't have. Recruitment library group let's refresh it and it has gone from here as well and the last library is the complex basics it doesn't have any way because it was inheriting from the uh, parent site and the parent site doesn't have the junior manager security group so so it's that simple um, so same way if you want to remove a user select the user from this page from uh, this page and delete it from the site collection so if uh, you don't need to go into each and every library and remove them, which was uh, it will be a, a time consuming process. If you have thousands of libraries, you just have to do this method and it's quite very simple. Um, so if you don't have a group which from which you can come to this link, uh, don't worry, I will put this URL. Uh, so this URL I will put in the description below. You can access it directly. Um, so yeah, this is how you remove a single user or a group from the whole of the site collection. Um, in a single action so hope you like this video please hit the like button it will really help this video to reach many people who are really in need of this and subscribe to my channel if you like this video as well thank you bye